What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another clothing guide with myself, Hoxton. In this video, I am going to be doing a nine box mystery unboxing, which has been sent to us by Farfetch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's nine boxes. Now, the reason why these parcels have all come in nine different boxes is because the way Farfetch works is they're actually more like a middleman, if you want to call it that. Farfetch class themselves as actually a tech company, so they're not a retailer. They don't actually stock items at Farfetch, but what they do is they connect boutiques from all around the world with customers. So all of these different parcels have actually come from lots of different retailers, and that's the reason why there are so many different parcels. Farfetch said they're going to send me some items to see if these items actually match my style for the upcoming spring season so I'm hoping to see here some lightweight jackets sweaters and a few two t-shirts maybe I don't know that's why it's a mystery unboxing but literally I'm gonna get straight into it and start off by looking at all these different items if you like any of the items in this video make sure to go ahead click on the description box below and you will see a link taking you straight to Farfetch Farfetch are actually doing 15% off for new customers so if you haven't purchased from there before get 15% off with an exclusive code that you will see in the description box below okay if you like content that's based on clothing, fashion, anything around fashion. What other type of content, bro? Fashion, bro, I, I don't know what to say, bro. You're the man, you already know. Gee, this guy didn't even back me up, you know. <laughs> if you like in men's fashion content, reviews, unboxings, vlogs, all that type of good stuff, make sure to go ahead and like this video, subscribe and share it with your mates, okay? Now remember, these are all gonna be spring items, so there's gonna be a little bit more kind of like lighter wear for guys to wear as we're building up to the summer. Now, even though we're moving into the spring summer now, it's still quite cold. There are some days when it's quite warm, but it's still a little bit cold, especially when it gets to more the evening time. So I feel like sweaters, lightweight jackets, and these types of things are still kind of validated around about this time. Right, so parcel number one is got the Montclair Polo long sleeve. Now, I'm not usually a fan of the long sleeve stuff, but do you know what? This one might be all right, especially again, because it's springtime, you might want something to cover your arms. I do like polos in general, I love the colors. But bro, you were saying that polos are not really the one. I'm not a polo guy, bro. A long sleeve might cut it, but short sleeve is But you're not into the short the bin, sleeve now? Nah. Okay, That's cool, cool. Finished. Fred Perry do really good ones. Stone Island ones are quite good. And the Montclair ones are really good as well. This is quite an interesting one. I think this would be really nice for spring. It is, bro. Like, honestly, I really like that one. Oh, you like this one? Yeah. You're not just saying that now. Nah. That's a rare statement from me as well. That's what you know I was thinking. That that's what I was thinking. Okay, cool. That is nice though, man. Yeah, that's dope. That's dope. That's dope. A genuine Montclair polo will always come with the hologram, which you can see right there. Montclair hologram. Remember, counterfeiters have now copied that, so you really need to know how to be able to spot that. If you look at one of my videos that I've done in the past, I actually show you how to identify a genuine Montclair hologram, so make sure to check, check that video out. Of course, if you're buying from Farfetch, all the items from there are 100% genuine. Right, what's this? Okay. Bro, wow. Yep, got the what Stone a Island. Sick jacket. You like that? Love that. Oh, you like that, yeah? Love that, bro. Okay, okay. Bio based ripstop nylon down. Bio based. Oh, you know they always come with these paragraph names. Bro, I feel like you gotta go to university just to kind of understand the type of technology that's going on with these jackets, man. Perfect for this season as well. 100%. I reckon if you had on all black or all grey with that and just Smash made it. that the like statement piece, you're yeah. good to go, man. It's gonna be really light. It's not too heavy at all. It is down insulated, but you know what? It's really light and fluffy. Really light and fluffy. Something like this for this time of year I think it's it's good to still keep you warm but not keep you too hot like a heavier Canada goose jacket for example I've never heard of this material though called bio-based bro Stone how Island. you said bio-based uh, talking about it like it was made in the lab bro you're breaking it down like I said NFT mate this jacket is coming like it's some scientific experiment <laughs> <laughs> box number three let's see what this is oh snap it's a brand called Reigns. Now this is this is a really good, cool brand. I've been meaning to get this in for some time. I actually wanted to do a dedicated video on this. Reigns is a technical outerwear brand. They're based over in Denmark, so they're a Danish brand. And they've actually got quite a few stores over here. But what they specialize in is rain wear. Perfect for this time of year where it's kind of raining a lot. Not so much built for warm, but definitely much more built for high water resistance outerwear. What I like about Reigns is their price point's actually decent. So I think the price Put on this is roughly about 80 pound for a very high um, water resistant jacket so i can put on like a thick hoodie thick sweaters and i can have this really light technical overcoat just like that 
and this is going to ensure that when the rain drops on me it's not going to get onto my clothing at all also got the hood there with a little peak and i think for the price of rains i think the price range for these jackets i think is very very fair so yeah loving rains they've got quite an extensive collection if you check farfetch they've got quite a few jackets on there yeah no this one's cool man i'm feeling this right moving on to box number four Whatever it is, it's a lightweight piece. Oh, 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 Bell Staff. Right, I've, I've been going on about Bell Staff for quite some time because it is one of my favorite brands. I do have a few Bell Staff pieces, but I just feel like Bell Staff is really underrepresented in the market. For people that are looking for alternatives to like Stone Island, CP Company, and definitely don't want to pay those increasing price points, Bell Staff is definitely one of those brands to look into, especially for spring, summer. Typically, they're kind of more renowned for their outerwear, so like thick leather jackets, thick wax jackets but now they've really kind of expanded more into like sweatshirts they do a lot of jogging pants hoodies uh, their polos are pretty good and price points are pretty decent as well very similar to the stone island one that we saw but this one seems to come with a hood a little emblem on the side arm there which is quite nice this is a nice piece this is something that's quite nice and obviously it's in a navy color as well but yeah bell stuff right moving on to box number five wicked cool Okay, power jumpers. I had a power. I've got a power jumpers. Do you remember when we done the DPS video and I was wearing the green? A lot of people were asking about that. Don't a lot of people were asking about this. They are Italian based. Founder was inspired when he actually met the power jumpers, who who are a rescue team based over in Alaska. So anytime there's any type of beef going down and someone needs to get rescued, then the power jumpers will step in with their and their safety equipment and they will go on a mission to try and rescue people. That's why on the jacket you'll see there's lots of little features like this little feature that you see there, which is a snap for the collar but what you also find is lots of little kind of safety pockets lots of pockets for all your different type of gear so it's very much kind of like utility based functional jacket it's also water resistant as well which is quite nice typically they're kind of more known for their outerwear but they are doing a lot of like lightweight jackets like this they also do a lot of sweaters fleece tops and stuff like that and i love the little badge on there and i just think it's different and not too many people have it let's say like a para jumpers jacket how much do they usually retail for because i've never like actually looks into the price of these style of jackets. I think the, the, the heavier parka that I was wearing last time was 650. I think I paid 440 in the sale. I think these are around 300. I'm not really too sure. I'm gonna put the price in the description box below. As I said, this is a mystery unboxing, so I wasn't even sure what's coming in. They're well built and they, they last a long time. So got a nice little feature there on the back, which I just noticed. So yeah, man. Right, this one looks a bit awkward to open. How do you open this one up? Well, I'm gonna have to go all out on this one, mate. Oh, uh, do you know what? Do you know about this brand? YMC. No. They got a store over in um, Shoreditch next to DPUS. Do you remember it? Nah. No. I got to take you there one time. Actually, one of the guys that founded this brand was based over in Scotland. He moved to London. He was really trying to get into fashion and reaching out to fashion designers. He kept on getting turned down because he wanted to work in the fashion industry. He met up with Vivian Westwood's son by chance, pestered him a little bit and managed to wrangle himself a job at Vivian Westwood where he learned more about fashion design and the fashion industry. And a couple of years after that, he went on to start off his brand with his mate called YMC, which is You Must Create. I remember this brand when I used to be working in Selfridges and YMC was much more of a type of streetwear type of brand back in the day. Now they tend to do more kind of military inspired, English, post-punk inspired casual wear, I would say, but it's really nice stuff. I really like it. So, so stuff like this, which I personally love, these type of like fleece tops, some nice detail on the side as you can see right there. But yeah, this one's quite nice. I think this is cool. Right. So if you're looking for something that's a little bit casual, more low key, kind of understated UK inspired fashion, then YMC is definitely one to check out. So yeah, glad that was in there. That's a good one. Yeah. So that's the YMC piece. And I also like what it stands for as well. You must create. You I must create. Clever, man. Yeah, man, defo. I've always liked flannel tops, but I've noticed a lot more people are wearing flannel top. Or when we went to, uh, Depop, not Depop, DPUS. Remember the, the guy with the monkey was wearing that nice flannel top from, yeah. uh, I think it was H&M. And yeah, I, I think flannel tops are really cool. It's definitely a staple for, for most guys' collections, this one. What, what's your thoughts on flannel tops? I've always been into flannel tops, yeah, but I usually get mine from like Uniqlo from back in the days. I've been wearing flannel tops. Yeah, yeah. Just like 
I've always liked the look of that sort of West Coast style, like yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, where exactly. Where you might wear them with some Chuck Taylors and some are they yeah. called Dickies? No, you definitely. You got a shout definitely. out Snoop Dogg for that trip. Yeah, yeah. Whoop. Uh oh. I knew that was off white straight away from the pack. How do you know it's off white? Oh no, it's not off white. It's Ami. Ami. What a nice color. Bro, I remember I was telling you about pastel colours for this season. Yeah. New season sweatshirt by Ami, Parisian brand. It's by a, a guy called Alexander Matis Matiusi. I hope I said that right. They've done collaborations with Montclair and now they can consider themselves to be a more luxury, casual streetwear. I was back in this brand like I've amongst my first videos when I was wearing Ami back in the day and their brand has changed a lot since then I think now they've really stepped up this new logo that they've got has really been working well for them it's really kind of like relaxed casual wear more like loose fits loose kind of um, baggy fits which at the moment is, is quite in and I, I like the fits of this so very relaxed and casual you can see the detail of the cotton there it's very really nice. well made it's really thick and it's, it's good stuff I really do rate Ami for what's your thoughts on that bro? Very nice colour, high quality material, you can't go wrong with that jumper. Yeah man, that's a nice staple piece man. Two more, yeah? I think I need a unboxing break. I need a tea break. How many adverts are going to be in this video bro? Bro, about 16. Okay, what's this? Okay, what's this? Okay! Bro, your favourite brand. Burberry, yeah? You like Burberry? I thought you was a Burberry it's not fan. my favourite brand. I thought you loved Burberry mate. I do like Burberry. But I like Burberry. I think you see this guy that has jumped on board at Burberry, who you mentioned in a previous video. Yes. He, he's definitely working wonders over there, man. Nah, for real, man. He's, he's working his magic. I feel like some people might feel a bit overwhelmed by that print because I, like, I've seen people who say that they don't like it too much. Some people might like it more like on that Burberry jacket. You know where it's got the hints inside the hood. I definitely agree with what you're saying. Some of the pieces can be a little bit overdone. This one with the colors, like even this kind of green hint it that they nice. have here. I, nice think this, I think green. you could get away with this one, you know? Definitely. So long as nothing else is overdone. Oh, I don't want to say it beforehand, but what is it? Is it, it feels like cashmere, you know? 100% cashmere, I knew it. But oh, this feels nice. If it's cashmere, You've got to expect a higher price point for cashmere. Farfetch, they've got loads of pieces on there. And I've even seen a couple of really good sales on Farfetch, which is worth checking out from time to time. Definitely a brand to watch out for for 2022, I believe. So that's good. I saw something else in there. What's in there? Okay, another bell staff. People have been saying that they're getting a little bit bored of the Stone Island sweatshirts and they want to see something new. Bell staff, I think, is definitely one of those brands that can fill that void to mix up your collection a little bit. And the quality and the feel of this, feel that. Yeah, it's nice. It feels nice. It feels like a towel. See the collar? See the print on the collar there? The finishing? Yeah. They, they, they put a lot of work into it, man, and that's why I appreciate it. See at the bottom there, the detail there? The finishing? But compared to Stone Island now, where Stone Island is like 225 for a sweatshirt, so if you want a lower price alternative but still have the quality there, the quality is definitely on par, no doubt about it, then Bellstaff is one to uh, consider. Well, oh, that was meant. Okay. Okay. What's this? It's feeling super light so far. What is this? And it doesn't have the, the material guidelines on the inside, which means it's not actually a jacket. It's more of an overshirt. So this is like a shirt. I love that indigo colorway, man. Nice. Really nice. Very nice. Color's very smart. I'm really liking the deep, deep color on this, man. I can't tell if it's like a blue or a purple. It's almost like a mix in between, but this is very it's nice. It's indigo, I'd say, bro. Indigo, yeah, yeah, man, it's nice, man. Something like this, you can wear a t-shirt underneath. It's almost a little bit like an overshirt, so if I do this up, you'll get that nice color at the top. But yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely built for more spring, summertime, this one, so you don't have to worry about overheating in this one, or you can layer up quite nicely underneath with this one as well so yeah another good one from stone island so that's it that's the end of the unboxing guys these are all of the items that have been sent in from farfetch and farfetch are actually doing 15 percent off for new customers so if you haven't purchased from there before all you got to do is sign up and you will get 15 percent off with an exclusive code that you will see in the description box below okay so guys listen that is it i hope you enjoyed this video if you want to see more items or different concept videos put those in the comments box below as well peace out